how soon do I, how soon to see a doctor after a car accident? All right. I'll, <clears throat> Angel, welcome back. Glad to be back. Thanks a lot. Hey, today we're going to talk about how soon should someone see a doctor after an accident? Because this is something that people ask themselves all the time and mm -hmm. sometimes delay. Right. Uh, and many times the people who delay, it's because they don't have health insurance. Um, or they're concerned with like, well, if I do go, even with health insurance, maybe I've got some giant deductible that I'm going to be faced with, right? Um, you know, the short answer to the question is, as soon as possible, go see a doctor because you just don't know how, that's just almost inevitably after an accident, you're a little dazed usually, but you're also thinking, well, I'm okay. I'm still breathing. I'm still able to walk. I'm probably okay. But the truth is you really don't know, right? So the sooner you go see a doctor, the better. Now that doctor may or may not be able to do a whole lot other than confirm you have no broken bones or you do have broken bones um, or, you know, you either have a concussion or you don't have a concussion and you can just kind of go from there. But from there, you should get some follow-up care because that's just when you first see a doctor, those doctors are really just to make sure you're not going to die. So when they, when they let you go, they let you go knowing, all right, we're safe. This person's going to be able to, you know, make it through the night. Um, and so I would recommend going to the doctor as soon as possible. And if you don't have the money, you can call a law firm, either ours or a firm like ours, and we can find doctors that'll see you with no money up front. And that'll, give you some peace of mind, even if you have health insurance, it's kind of better to be like, okay, I didn't cause this. I didn't ask for this. Um, it wasn't even, you know, it was just bad luck. Uh, I'd rather someone else pay for it and our law firm and other law firms like ours be happy to. I think that's what happens is exactly what you said. If someone may not have, or they'll have a high deductible or right. they just had a bad month or something and they're like, Hey, I'm not going to go to the doctor, mm -hmm. but you do need to go to the doctor to make sure you're alive. The other thing that I want to emphasize that I'd like you just to comment on real quick, and we've covered this in another episode and listeners can go back to this episode. But if you go, when you go to that doctor to make sure you're alive and you're going to get through the night, do not take a call from the other person's insurance company that says settle because they're going to say, Hey, Angel, you're just fine. Oh, you sign this. Piece of out. So could you just make a comment on yeah. that? That's really important. So insurance companies are, are not your friends. Okay. In spite of uh, all state telling you you're in good hands, you're not. Um, their, their objective is really to pay you as little as possible. And if they can catch you the day after you've been looked at, and if you're still kind of feeling okay, things maybe, you know, feel like you're maybe going to be fine. They'll ask you to settle and they'll maybe put a thousand dollars in front of you. And sometimes people say to themselves, let me go ahead and take that money. It uh, sure, sure seemed awfully easy. The challenge you'll have is that what, without getting an MRI or some further diagnostic testing, you'll never know if you have what I call a for now injury, one that will resolve with some, with some treatment or a forever injury, which will never resolve for a, a, a bulge in your disc, a trauma to your spine. That could last a lifetime, and you'll never know that until you get an MRI done. Well, I appreciate you commenting on that because it's super important, and it, it can happen. I've had injuries, not necessarily always in car accidents. Yeah. Sometimes I fall on my bike, and it's not until two days later that I'm thinking to myself, wow, like what happened there? And this can happen in car accidents. It, it, it does all the time. We've had, we've had cases where six months have passed, and and. and because people sometimes tend to say, you know, I'm, I'm tougher than this. I can get through this. And, uh, you know, a month will pass, two months will pass. And before you know it, they're like, all right, I've been putting up with this for too damn long. Let me get checked out. And six months into it, we get them checked out. And sure enough, they've got a forever injury. And, you know, at least they haven't signed away their rights for a thousand bucks. So that don't take that call and don't take that uh, low hanging fruit because that isn't all in an effort to pay as little as possible. And our job is to maximize your recovery, plain and simple. That's right. So just in summary, go see the doctor, make sure that you're alive and well. Then you want to do a follow-up and call, call a law firm. Like, Absolutely. Like Ray's like, Brown. Like, so she, yeah. it's like you want to do that. And we have for listeners, call the number. It's in the show notes. Do not hesitate. The sooner you get a lawyer, the better you are going to be and they are going to pressure you and you yeah. don't need to be pressured. So yeah. make sure that you check the show notes, make the phone call, get in touch. Angel and his staff will help you and you'll be in good hands. Sooner the better. Thanks a lot. You got it. Bye everyone.